So this new wireless go is simply amazing. Just go and get it is what I would be saying if there was no competition, but uh, there's actually uh, another company that also produces these kind of small uh, compact wireless lavalier microphone systems uh, that are, don't require any cables. So if you guys want to see how the world wireless go compares uh, to this one up here that I've got, uh, then stay tuned for the video. So as you guys can see, I've got two wireless labs uh, hooked up up here. And what's unique about them is that they do not require any uh, cables basically for the microphones because they have, uh, the, the transmitters have microphones built right into them. Uh, this one here is the, the one from Rode, which is the Rode Wireless Go. This one here is the Pico Gear uh, wireless you know, audio system. And I already did a review of this one. So if you guys want to see the full review of that, check out my video, link is in the description. But uh, a lot of you I know were kind of curious how these two compare to each other. So this is what I'm going to do in this video. Now this whole audio is actually being recorded on both of these microphones. I have them hooked up to a portable audio recorder right now and they have both identical settings. So that should give you a good idea. And if you guys want to actually get the audio files from this recording, uh, then you can just head on over to my website, which is tomantosfilms.com. And over there, uh, you guys will be able to download the, the raw recording and uh, you're gonna hear in one channel the, uh, the Pico gear, which is this one. And then in the other channel, you're gonna hear the, uh, the Rode wireless mic, which is this one. And this way you guys can hear the raw audio yourself and, and really kind of judge and see just uh, how good or how bad each of these microphones are. Now the first test I'm going to do is, is uh, the long range uh, open line of sight test to kind of see how they both compare. The reason is because the Rode Wireless Go is actually advertised as 230 feet uh, open line of sight uh, range, whereas the Pico Gear is advertised as 150 uh, meters, which is almost 500 feet. So basically twice the range. So it's quite a bit of a difference and that's kind of one of the reasons why maybe this system costs uh, twice as much as the Rode Wireless Go. There's a few other features and differences that I'll talk about later, but uh, first let's jump into the, the long range test. So first I'm going to test out the Rode Wireless uh, Go microphone. I have it up here with the little windscreen that it comes with. I'm just going to walk away, see how well it performs open line of sight basically on a long uh, range. And I am right now about 50 feet away, 50 feet away. This is how it sounds. Uh, and again, this is how it sounds when I turn around. So it's signals going through my body now. Um, I'm going to keep on walking. And I'm 150 feet away now. This is how it sounds, around 150 feet away on the road wireless go. Anyways, keep on walking further. Way. This is 200 feet away, open line of sight on the world wireless go. This is how it sounds, and uh, keep on walking. Further. And now I'm 300 feet away, 300 feet away, open line of sight on the road wireless go microphone. This is how I sound. All right, now I'm 400 feet away, 400 feet away, open line of sight. You guys can see uh, this is how it sounds on the road wireless go. I'm gonna keep on walking even further. Open line of sight with the Rode Wireless Go. It's quite a bit of wind right now actually here. So we'll see also how the microphone handles the wind. And anyways, I'm gonna keep on heading back. And now I'm at 300 feet away, open line of sight on the Rode Wireless Go microphone. This is how it sounds, I'm facing the mic, so it's no, there's no obstructions here. And now I'm 200 feet away, open line of sight on the Rode Wireless Go microphone system. All right, now I'm 100 feet away, open line of sight. This is how it sounds on the Rode Wireless Go. And I'm back. So anyways, this was the long range test, open line of sight on the Rode Wireless Go microphone. Uh, now I'm gonna switch to the Pico wireless microphone system. We'll see how that one sounds compared to this one. So now I've got the Pico Gear, uh, the new improved Pico Gear microphone. Uh, I only got one, because I know in the last test, some people were complaining I had the two of them next to each other and because of the phasing, created like a weird effect. So I only got one with the new and improved uh, windscreen that, that they're including now, plus the new and improved uh, cable uh, for the camera. Anyway, so I'm gonna walk back, open line of sight test, we'll see how it performs. So I'm 50 feet away, this is how it sounds, about 50 feet away, uh, open line of sight with the Pico gear. 
I keep on walking even further. And I am 100 feet away, 100 feet away on the open line of sight with the Pico Gear microphone. And there's quite a bit of wind actually now, so it's going to be interesting to see how it performs with the wind. I'm 200 feet away, 200 feet away, open line of sight with the Pico Gear. Uh, there's actually quite a bit of wind right now, so we'll see how it handles the wind with the new. Way open line of sight test with the Pico Gear wireless microphone system. This is how I sound. And this is how I sound when This is 500 feet away open line of sight with the Pico Gear wireless microphone system. I'm going to be heading back now. Now I'm back at 400 feet away open line of sight with the Pico Gear wireless microphone system. Now I'm 300 feet away, 300 feet away. And I'm 250 feet away open line of sight with the Pico Gear wireless microphone system. And now I'm at 200 feet away, open line of sight with the Pico Gear wireless microphone system. And now I'm back at 100 feet away, open line of sight, the Pico Gear wireless microphone system. And now I'm back at 50 feet away, open line of sight test on the Pico Gear wireless microphone system. So as you guys can see, the test uh, definitely surprised me because even though, again, the road is only advertised as 230 feet, it definitely worked way past that. Now it didn't work reliably past that range, but Again, when you compare this system, which is advertised at almost 500 feet, I would even say that sometimes the, the Pico gear was kind of cutting out a little bit or, you know, more or earlier. Now the next test is going to be going through a building and various walls, and it's not to test out the, the range of the, of the systems, but how they perform with uh, various interference. And first I'm going to test out the Rode Wireless Go uh, audio system. I am now behind one wall, one concrete wall, and this is on the Rode wireless uh, audio system. This is how it sounds, behind one wall. Now I'm walking further, and I'm now behind two concrete walls on the Rode wireless uh, audio system. This is how it sounds. Can go further now. And this is now on the Rode wireless uh, Go audio system, but behind three walls, one is a uh, drywall, Two of them are concrete walls. This is how it sounds with that interference. I'm going to be heading back now. And I'm back now just behind one concrete wall on the Rode Wireless uh, Audio. And, and I'm back. <laughs> now I'm going to do the same indoor test but with the Pico Gear wireless microphone system. Now just keep in mind the air conditioner just kicked in so you're going to hear that uh, while I'm outside. Once I go indoors you shouldn't be able to hear it. All right, and I'm behind one concrete wall. This is with the Pico Gear wireless microphone system. And now I'm behind uh, two concrete walls. This is with the Pico Gear wireless microphone system. This is how it sounds. I'm going to go further. All right, now I'm behind three walls. Uh, two concrete, one drywall, and uh, this is how it sounds. This is again on the Pico Gear wireless microphone. I'm going to be heading back. All right, I'm back behind one concrete wall. And heading back now. So there you guys have it for those tests. Now. Uh, how does the audio quality compare between the two microphones? Uh, I guess you know, the best way to do it is to uh, actually listen in. So I'm going to put my headphones on so I can actually hear what I'm recording right now. And uh, again, on the left channel here, that's the Pico gear. So uh, you guys, for those of you who download the, the raw audio from my website, you can, you can hear that. Now on the right channel is the Rode Wireless Go. And this is how it sounds. This is how they handle, by the way, when it comes to the wind or any background kind of noise and things like that. Um, so again, hopefully this uh, kind of test gives you an idea. And instead of me letting you know what I think, I mean, it, to be honest, they, they, I think when it comes to just quality of the microphones that are built into them, they're, they're very similar, I think. That's why I don't want to really share so much my opinion. Maybe you guys, again, download the raw audio files and then maybe let me know in the comment section below which microphone you think picks up better quality audio or maybe they're just, you know, they're just different, but they're equally uh, uh, just as good. Now I want to kind of talk about uh, the actual differences with the microphone. So uh, one thing is uh, you'll notice right away that the Pico gear is definitely smaller. It has uh, basically the, the little clip-on is where the microphone is located. And uh, if I were to take this off, it's actually very, very, very thin, basically. If you guys, again, can watch my full review so you can kind of see just how small it is. And then the transmitter, as you can see, 
is again half the size if not, maybe even less than that of the rolled wireless go so it's drastically smaller uh, and it you know once it clips on because the transmitter actually goes behind the the clothing you, all you're gonna have sticking out is that little clip on so it looks you know a lot uh, smaller on screen uh, a lot less noticeable than the rolled wireless go because the rolled wireless go it's this whole basically little box that you have that has the microphone built in and and the transmitter and on the other side you just have this little clip here um, and so that's the only thing that actually goes hiding behind the t-shirt now another big difference is that the road uh, transmitter actually has uh, a usb type c connection here uh, it has a button here for po power uh, and it actually has here if i remove this windscreen it actually has a, a microphone connection a 3.5 millimeter uh, microphone connection so if you do want to use another lavalier microphone that you let's say you like using then you can put this uh, and, and basically treat it purely as a tra transmitter put it in your talents packet or whatever and then run a wire and kind of have like a traditional lavalier microphone setup but if you don't want to do that then like I said there's a built-in mic here and this mic uh, again uh, you know you can all use it like this which is just you know bare uh, but if there's a little bit of wind, then you definitely want to use the provided uh, little dead mouse or basically the little windscreen muff. Now we have some little helicopter here and some background noise. Hopefully that again is going to show you guys how well these microphones perform with the background noise. But anyways, uh, this is how basically this operates. So it's it's got a few extra things basically than the Pico gear because like I said, it's got the power button, it's got the... Uh, the, the USB Type-C, it's got the you know, three and a half millimeter microphone connection and you can kind of clip on this thing. With the Pico gear, it actually there is nothing on it, like there is no plugins, there's no USB, nothing connections because this is basically what it is. It's just, it's very simple. All you do is you just take it out of the cradle of the, uh, of the, the receiver of the system and then that's it. It, it turns on and it just works. Uh, now, uh, in a way, you could say it's simpler than this because you don't have to turn this on. You can actually turn it on and off remotely using the transmitter, which is something that you can't do with the rolled wireless go. So that's kind of where I would say one plus is of this. Um, it, also, you can adjust all the settings of this uh, using the, the transmitter, which there's really no settings that you can adjust when it comes to this thing, uh, the, the, the rolled one. Uh, also, when it comes to charging, it's much easier because you just put this in the cradle, meaning into the, uh, the receiver, and it's going to charge. And basically, there's just one cable that you plug into the receiver, and it charges both the receiver and the two microphones. And that's maybe the third difference, is that the Pico gear, yes, it's twice the price of the, the road system, but the Pico gear actually comes with two wireless microphones. Uh, and like I said, it's, it's very simple. Put them all in the cradle they all charge all together whereas this one uh, comes with one transmitter one or one microphone you're gonna have to uh, charge this separately also if you want to turn it on and off you have to actually run and press that button which is not ideal with for example let's say you're doing a, a wedding video right that's where i think a lot of people will be using these kind of things a wedding video or kind of live coverage event you put this let's say on your bride or groom and you really don't want to be there interfering with, you know, the whole ceremony and everything that's going on. And as your talent is, let's say, going or traveling or, or let's say if there's a break and you're not going to be recording. Well, with the Pico gear, you can disable all the microphones using the, uh, the receiver, like I said. But with the Rode Wireless Go, you would actually have to run over to talent, press the button, you know, turn it off. And then when you want to record again, you have to run over again, press the button uh, to, to engage it. So... That's maybe the one, again, disadvantage of this one. The advantage of the Rode one is that, like I said, you can actually plug in an, a standard lavalier 3.5 millimeter, uh, basically microphone cable, which you can't do that with, uh, with the Pico Gear one. Now, another thing I noticed that I don't like about the Rode uh, system is that uh, these little wind muffs, uh, you know, dead, dead mouse little screens, they're great when they're under and they do help with the, with the audio and the wind noise. But the sucky thing is, is that they keep on falling off. They have basically like these little clips that sort of clip on to the side of the mics, but they don't really hold very well. 
like you see they just come off very easily and i very often i notice when i was walking around with it if i like by accident if i try to adjust or something and i were just to hit the 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 mic this thing will, will basically just fall off this little screen so I uh, hope Rode maybe comes up with like a little fix for this. Now the Pico gear actually didn't even come originally when I got the system with uh, basically like a windscreen protector. But uh, since I released the video, the company contacted me, they sent in this one up here. Uh, and they also sent in a, a new uh, cable that connects between the transmitter and basically the camera. So it's a kind of special cable that uh, reduces the noise levels or something like that. Don't quite understand it, but anyways, it's a... Uh, that's some of the little improvements that this company has been doing since they released the product. Now here's the two uh, receivers. So the Pico gear definitely is much bigger, but again, like I said, it's partially because it has this cradle here for the two mics. Uh, and also it has this big digital display that lets you change basically all the settings about the microphones, different, again, the, the output gain, the gain on the mics, on the, on the receiver, all that stuff. Whereas the Rode is very simple. In a way, it's good. You just basically just plug it in, and you just have one power button, one uh, button for like the, the the gain, the dB. So you can just click those and kind of cycle through the different settings, and that's it. It does have a little display that will actually show you uh, the battery level and the signal uh, basically level, um, and 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 the, the of your microphone, so basically the loudness. So that's that's good, and otherwise it's very simple. So in a way, it's good because it's small. One thing I don't like though about the Rode one is that it doesn't really have a way of, of attaching it to a camera. It comes with a little clip, which is again the same kind of clip that you get on the, on the microphone slash transmitter. Uh, but again, I would wish this was, you know, at least it had like a quarter 20 screw uh, kind of thread on it so that I could attach it using like a cold shoe mount or something like this one. This one actually comes with a cold shoe mount, quarter 20 screw there, so you can use another mount if you don't like this one. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of the, it makes it easier basically to attach this to camera. This one, uh, you know, at the same time, because it's so small, the Rode one, I pretty much just connected it to the side of my camera and then I would just let this kind of dangle by the, by the camera. But I guess you can, you can always use this clip to, I don't know, clip it to your, your strap on your camera or things like that. So it's not a deal breaker, but just letting you guys know. The Pico gear receiver also has a headphone jack so you can monitor your audio, your recording, while the Rode receiver doesn't have one. Now, both of the systems, I'll tell you, are equally easy to use. You pretty much just, you know, turn on the, the, the whole system. I would say Pico Gear is even easier because you just turn on the transmitter and the microphones just turn on automatically as you take them out of the, the cradle. And that's it. They just work. So there's really not much messing around that I had to do with any of these settings. Uh, in fact, actually, I didn't do any adjustments of settings. So the audio you guys are hearing is, again, the, the raw audio kind of coming out of both of these systems and, and the identical settings of my on my audio recorder so there is no really difference there really the only difference is uh, i guess the way the microphones pick up the, the different uh, frequencies now when it comes to my opinion i think both of these are you know very equal and different in some ways but uh, i've been using this one more simply because i got it before i got the rolled wireless one uh, so i've picked this up first and i started using it and i actually recently shot a video for my uh, other youtube channel which by the way if you guys are not aware of i started a new youtube channel with a friend of mine miguel uh, where we review basically all kinds of stuff and, and kind of talk about all kinds of cool products and things like that that are not really filmmaking related and we're actually just releasing a new video about uh, basically the best headphones of 2019 uh, and in that video we used this pico gear uh, wireless system to record both on both different uh, microphones at the same time uh, while we were doing this blind test with different people. It's actually a pretty fun video, so if you guys wanna check that out, I'm gonna provide the link in the description below. So what's my conclusion? Well, I think if you guys want, first of all, something cheaper uh, and even simpler to use, go with the Rode, because it is cheaper. It's 200 bucks, whereas this one's right now at like $450, I think. The prices always change, so if, again, if for, any, for the latest prices, just check the links in the description of the video. But like I said, this one is simpler. Now, keep in mind though, this is going to give you less control, like I said. Shorter battery life, by the way, this is 7 hours. This one is 20 hours, a big difference for the transmitter and the microphones. Also, this one ha comes with two microphones already. So you could say it's almost twice the price of the road, you know, go but that's because it comes with two microphones. Now, another thing you got to keep in mind is that the Rode Wireless Go only really is going to work straight out of the box with uh, like a DSLR. If you want to plug this to a smartphone or tablet or things like that, 
it's not going to work because the cable that they give you is a TRS cable. Whereas, you know, for phones, you need a TRRS. Well, Pico Gear gives you a cable that's both going to work with TRRS and TRS. And inside, actually, you can uh, the settings, you can switch it to auto and it will automatically detect if it's connected to a phone, tablet, DSLR or whatever. And it will automatically switch between TRS and TRRS uh, system. So that's kind of nice to have. So overall, I think both of these systems are similar and different in some ways. Uh, and, and really, I think it's, it's going to come down to you guys judging the audio quality. If you guys want to really kind of listen to the two, again, download the raw audio recording from this video, which you can find at tomantosfilms.com. And while you're there, subscribe to my newsletter so you stay on top of the latest posts and videos that I release. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe to my new YouTube channel that I started with Miguel. Uh, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, I guess. Bye.